BitBoy just revealed shocking XRP will be delisted permanently from crypto exchanges. XRP News Today Because of a technical error on Coinbase, a rumor started to spread in the market that Coinbase relisted XRP. A lawsuit case between Ripple Company and SEC has been going on for a long time, and due to the ongoing lawsuit, SEC ordered every crypto exchange to delist or stop XRP token trading. So many of the regulated crypto exchanges of the U.S. delisted XRP tokens. Today we are going to talk all about why XRP might be delisted permanently from crypto exchanges and what's going on in the Ripple vs. SEC case. So watch this video till the end because today's video is going to be a bomb. Welcome to XRP Vault, your daily dose of XRP. If you're interested in everything around XRP, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the XRP news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more XRP news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of XRP is doing on the 22nd of September, shall we? Ripple extends the bearish leg to 86 cents, but recovers gradually to 94 cents. A confirmed breakout above 95 cents would affirm the bull's grip on the price for gains eyeing levels above $1. Ripple explored the levels below $1 following the bearish wave that started hitting the market on Sunday. The cross-border token had lifted to September highs of $1.4 before a correction trimmed losses. Initially, support between $1 and $1.1 mitigated the impact of the bearish wave. Nonetheless, the last two days have been highly volatile, with Bitcoin dropping from above $48,000 to nearly $42,000. Meanwhile, XRP plunged to test support at $0.90, cents, but the candle wick hit lowers $0.86 cents for the first time since August. Ripple could be preparing an upswing to $1. The support at $0.90 cents currently ensures that Ripple does not drop to the following critical demand zone, the red band slightly below $0.80. Cents. At the same time, it ensures that buyers have the upper hand as they focus on the rebound to $1. Ripple is trading at $0.94 cents at the time of recording amid a bullish building momentum. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD, emphasizes the bearish grip at the moment. Still, there is a possibility of a buy signal coming into the picture, especially if Ripple gains momentum above $0.95. Cents. Now let's get back to the topic. With Coinbase on the verge of a lawsuit, regulatory clarity is once again the most pressing issue within the digital asset space, even despite the extensive criticism against the SEC's regulation by enforcement practice. XRP remains in a limbo in the United States as the complaint filed by the Securities and Exchange Commission back in December 2020 forced cryptocurrency exchanges to delist it, thus making it impossible for users at those exchanges to buy or sell the crypto asset. Exception made to ex-Ripple CTO Jed McCaleb, it seems, as the founder of Stellar, XLM, keeps selling his XRP holdings regardless of the SEC's threats to whoever trades the digital asset. All the compliance in the world may not be enough to satisfy the agency, however. Coinbase, who has swiftly delisted XRP, appears to be on the regulator's eyesight. Last Wednesday, after months of effort by Coinbase to engage productively, the SEC gave us what's called a Wells Notice about our planned Coinbase Lend program, said Paul Gruel, chief legal officer at Coinbase, on the firm's blog. A Wells Notice is the official way a regulator tells a company that it intends to sue the company in court. As surprised as we were at the SEC's threat to sue without ever telling us why, we want to be transparent with you about the course of events leading up to it. The SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit is increasingly seen as the last stand against the agency's behavior toward the ecosystem. The extraordinary and precedent-setting case seems to have broken the fourth wall. Judge Sarah Netburn is probably keeping up with the XRP Army's investigative work that is being shared online, and that may compromise the SEC's position in the lawsuit. This grassroots movement emerging in the wake of the Ripple lawsuit has also caught the eye of U.S. Congressman Warren Davidson, who has recently tweeted, there is a solution. Pass the Token Taxonomy Act. Also from the political side is Senator Warren's request to SEC Chair Gary Gensler regarding a regulatory framework for the digital asset space. That move shocked many as it seemed like an orchestrated power play against the CFTC. As for the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, the judge is about to go forward with an in-camera review of the documents the SEC claims privilege. Additionally, Ripple is demanding clear answers from the SEC regarding its questions on the Howey test, 
the method used by the agency to ascertain whether an asset is a security or not. The outcome of the lawsuit may determine the survival of the Howey test. In May, attorney Jeremy Hogan explained why the Ripple lawsuit can save the crypto space from the SEC. Ripple SEC war continues, but the good news came from Japan that XRP is to resume trading on Japanese exchanges. Ripple has scored a major coup in Japan, a nation where it is one of the most popular altcoins, with the e-commerce giant Rakuten's exchange announcing that it will resume trading the XRP token. In an official release, Rakuten Wallet stated that it would begin XRP trading on September 8th. The company temporarily suspended XRP trading on Christmas Eve last year, citing liquidity concerns likely linked to the American Securities and Exchange Commission SEC's, legal battle with Ripple. The SEC claims that Ripple's executives sold XRP as an unregistered security, although Japanese regulators have previously stated that the token is not a security by their reckoning. However, less than a year after Rakuten Wallet temporarily suspended its XRP services, the firm has decided that liquidity can be secured and that it can assure a stable price delivery to its XRP customers. The company went on to add a warning about volatility in the crypto market and advised users to understand the risks before using its service. XRP's popularity has traditionally been high in Japan, thanks in no small part to Ripple's partnership with the domestic banking, crypto and securities giant SBI one of Rakuten's biggest crypto sector rivals. As recently as June 2020, the coin ranked second only to Bitcoin BTC, in a Twitter token popularity poll conducted by the Line Run BitMax exchange. Out of 1,498 respondents, 26% said that BTC is the coin they liked most, with 25% choosing XRP. Ethereum ETH came a distant third with 9%. However, a number of Japanese exchanges quickly followed suit with the large group of international exchanges that delisted XRP after the SEC began its legal struggle with the Ripple executives in the United States. However, Coinbase's case is notable because it is the first major exchange to suspend XRP. Coinbase is North America's biggest crypto trading exchange and recently filed with the SEC to go public. Some experts have said that the exchange's decision to tow the agency's line is because it does not want to be on the wrong side of compliance at such a critical juncture in its history. The digital asset framework used by Coinbase to evaluate listing for a token states that an asset should not be classified as a security using the company's securities law framework. That framework uses elements of the Howey test, used by the SEC to determine whether a token is a security or not, to determine the legal status of a token. Those legal considerations are also entwined with business interests. According to some estimates, XRP accounts for a major chunk of trading volume at Coinbase. Delisting or suspending XRP trading could potentially mean a loss of revenue for the exchange. While it has never disclosed its finances publicly, previous estimates have assumed that a large portion of the outfit's revenue comes from trading operations. That's all for today. In the end, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. Well, that's it for today's video, guys, and make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on XRP Vault. Bye!